Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Mecha Mech. This is Let's Play Spyro Reignited. Last time we finished the Artisan's World, so this episode we jump off the balloonist. Do you really need to reference Spyro Toy Story? Well, Skylanders, but do you really need to reference that? But anyway, this episode we enter the Peacekeeper's World and charge straight into the first portal that I see because that's apparently where I'm getting what little footage I have. I guess the I shouldn't be surprised that the first world is so swiftly over since I have actually had a recent replay and remember everything. I, I did like that you know, loading screens actually had something to them. There was a you got to see Spyro traveling through a void of nothing rather than just loading. You also had this. Or rather, you had that because I'm not doing that anymore. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it! So the first dragon you save in each world will give you a hint. Or rather, he'll tell you what you should be doing for this world. So in this world, to move on we need to collect all the treasure. In the previous we had to... You! Get away from that. Yeah, you had to... What was I thinking? You had to collect... I think it was 10 dragons had to be saved in order to unlock this world. And now, they want us to get all the treasure. So we're going to need treasure for the balloonist to help us. Actually, what I should do is get out. What I should do is just rush straight to the balloonist. The Magic Crafters world is far away and very dangerous. Maybe if you find 1,200 stolen treasure, I'll show it to you. There we go, 1,200. So I got a skill point and I don't even know what the skill point was for. So yeah, if you destroy their th things, then they'll just, well, either point and laugh or moon you. And there's an achievement, or was it a skill point, for shooting them with a cannon. What do you have to say, Magnus? Hey, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Nice imagery. But yeah, I guess they have a few repeated tutorials to make up for the fact that you m because of the optional nature of each level, you might actually miss these tutorials. And our first level, Dry Canyon. Hopefully this can actually make up for these less than 10 minute episodes that I've been cranking out. I guess I didn't think about it when I was younger, but the levels are pretty short because it's uh, not the the PlayStation isn't that powerful when you consider today's consoles. And yet despite that, they had they couldn't afford to put all three games on one. They had to go and make it downloadable. Oh yeah. Guys with shields now have a ranged weapon. Also. I love that. Cactuses wiggle when you burn them to a crisp. Okay, that's enough mucking about. Back to the game. What if I can? 
I can get them to scrap the boxes for me. That's really funny. Rescued Conan. What? Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Albedia Dragon. More importantly, Egg Thief that's gonna get it right up his robes. I hit fire. If I go too close then I'm gonna get stuck in the guitar and lose distance, but if I don't cut some corners I can't make ground on him. It's a delicate balance with those Egg Thieves. Orcs are supposed to be crosses between orcs and gnomes. I'm not sure I see it personally. More enemies on this end level. Those rotten vultures. And <laughs> the big nork here is just hits you with the vulture rather than sending them flying after you like you might expect them to. This game's had such character to them. I guess the disadvantage of not being able to keep those cacti well cooked is that if you see them in the distance you might mistake them for green gems, especially if they're the small ones. Go. Uh, how come we don't board the? Could be sworn that when you hit them with, what, if you hit the vultures with fire breath, or maybe just if you hit them at all, they um lose all their feathers. In the knockback. Maybe I was too. Maybe I'm just misremembering, or maybe they decided it was too graphic for such a cute G-rated game. And now I want to go and see if that this game really is G-rated. Well done, me. Hello, Ivor. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, You've known... Ah, uh, I forget. Yeah. Okay, um... That has a little bit of history. I remember reading on a forum that they said Spyro's still going to be the chosen one, but... They said things like that in the original game too, so yeah, not exactly um, not exactly bringing in unwanted lore to the old games, is it? Do not charge explosive. Don't stand so close to the explosive boxes either. Well, let me think. Can I get up onto those? Probably not. Yeah, they go too low. Can I get to it from here, or...? I think over there is the higher level. If I'm wrong, then this will be the first death, actual, but... Ooh boy. Okay, one thing I actually found kind of... Oh right, it's too big to charge. One thing I found a little funny about these is if you, when you destroy them by fire breath, it actually shoots out the lid and it'll smash something. I have to go get the key. Yep, yep.
Oh, where do you come from, you jerk ass pigeon? Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> So a rattlesnake dragon, but also a cattle rancher dragon. Interesting. There must be something somewhere that I can get to from here. There it is. And since we can, might as well get these. I'm still wondering if those blue butterflies are the full health restore that they were in the original Spyro. I'm also left wondering if it's possible to actually die from the Sparks being absent when you take a hit because he's eating a butterfly, because that was actually a thing that could happen. I forget which game it was, but it could happen. can't quite make the angle right. We've got a key here that we desperately wanted. And we rescued the Maximos. Incredible glide, Spyro! I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Yeah, nice. I have been flame broiling them this whole time, haven't I? So they wiggle if you charge them. Uh, these animate these cactuses. the gems. It's always the gems that you collect second. It's pretty easy to, if you've seen, yeah. If you've found all the gems then chances are you've also found all the dragons. You can't think of any time where there's a dragon somewhere that you wouldn't yeah. If there's a dragon somewhere that doesn't also have some gems hidden there is what I was aiming to say. And yep, that's Dry Canyon done. So, until next time guys, take care, I'll see you all around.